come back. Though the uh, gym and group fitness classes may be canceled for the time being, there are still things you can do at home to stay active. Yeah, while you may be at home, there are some ways to keep moving. I think a lot of people need to hear this, yes. us included. Uh -huh. Joining us to share how we can do this, physical therapist with Christy Clinic, Brie Ocasio. Good morning. Good morning. So a lot of people cooped up inside right now. They're thinking, okay, the gym is closed, so I'm off the hook, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not such good luck there. There's plenty of things that we could be doing and probably should be doing to keep ourselves healthy. We know that exercise and exercises improve our immunity. So we want to try to keep active, keep healthy, keep those extra pounds off. I know a lot of people are talking about the COVID-19, staying home and eating those snacks. So I wanted to talk to you about a few options that you can consider even from home. So it's a lot easier to have some accountability when we are going to a gym on a regular basis, but that could be one of your greatest resources right now. A lot of those gyms are offering free streaming services. So check with your gym. I know places like Planet Fitness and the YMCA have some options out there for you to get on your own device at home and go ahead and exercise. You can even stay in your sweats. You don't even have to change into your cute outfit. A lot of us also have some DVDs at home. Dust those off. Keep in mind what your exercise level is though. Don't jump right into some program that you may be not ready for. We don't want anybody having any serious injuries right now. Um, something to consider as well is the marathon has been postponed. So. That gives us an opportunity to maybe do some training, maybe train up a level that we weren't quite prepared for that April run. And again, there's a lot of resources out there. Maybe consider some interval running or a couch to 5K program so that you're not trying to overdo it. But take advantage of the nice weather when we have it. The spring is fantastic. I'm glad we're not confined to our house, which is another myth that's kind of going around online. We don't have to stay in our house. We can get outside. We can play with the kids. We can take that dog for a walk, play some Frisbee with our family, but we do wanna maintain that social distance. So we wanna to try to keep six feet apart so that we don't infect others. But you are allowed to go out and walk, get some exercise, go for a little jog, ride your bicycle. You may even consider doing a little bit of strength training in your home, whether you've got some dumbbells, some resistance bands, or think about um, using some alternative methods like a jug of water or um, something that's a little heavier, like a small suitcase or something like that. You can be creative with your weights, but still exercise those muscles and challenge yourself, challenge your family and your kids too. They need the activity and the exercise as well. You know, we do address some of um, some common pain complaints on the Christie Clinic Physical Therapy website. We discuss a few exercises that you could be working on for your neck pain or your back pain. So that's another resource for you there to get exercise and get moving. Take advantage of this time to really work on yourself and stay healthy. All right, great, Bree. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.